So what works? We talked about starting early. Work now for next year. Learn about the people in the media. Uh, learn about what resources there are, where you'll get funding. Learn about the people that are truly committed to the cause. That works. Start early. Networking. Building your relationship with others. Unions are a great source of networking. Churches. The Tea Party groups. The Tea Party groups are very, very, very effective this year. In my neck of the woods, they're getting two out of three. Two out of three elections are involved in. They're winning. The Tea Party groups are very powerful. Middle class, middle of the road. People, everyday concerns and issues, taxes, quality of life, family court, jobs. Chances are you'll be able to move them to help you. And they're starting to organize politically, having their own political lines on ballots. Tea Party groups. Senior groups. Senior groups are another great thing because seniors vote. Seniors always vote. Voting is an, an event if you're retired. Oh, today we've got to go out and vote. Voting is an event. They're going to go out and vote. It's important. They'll also work. They'll stuff envelopes. They'll proofread for you. They'll write for you. They're experienced people. Seniors are a great source, a great network. Who else votes? Government workers. Government workers. Your firehouse, local cops, go to your town hall meetings, learn who all the government workers are. They vote. Voting is an event for government workers, too. Another thing that works is be organized in order to organize. Have wall charts of what issues you're going to bring forward, binders, you're with your literature, stay organized, your forms, uh, maps, databases, your plans. Be organized. Be very, very organized. The more organized you can be, the more you can pass this on to other people to help you, otherwise you're a lone ranger. Organization is key. That's where I fail. But organization is very, very, very important. Part of that organization is frame the issues. Know exactly what you're going to talk about, exactly what you're going to attack. You can't reform the whole world. You have to pick your issues. You have to frame them properly. For these issues we're talking about today, they're parents' rights issues. Parents' rights issues, child's rights issues, family rights issues. They're not men's issues, they're not women's issues, they're children and families' issues, breaking up families. You can frame the issues further by saying, well, if we fix some of these problems, we're going to reduce a lot of costs. For every courtroom you knock out, it could be saving your county, your local municipality, 30,000 bucks a day. If it's a full courtroom with a lot of lawyers and stenographers and court officers and uh, in the background there's corrections officers and administration and plant and equipment and costs and cars and you name it, order framing the issue is saying you've got to cut down government costs by making family issues a little better, a little fairer. You might be proposing a mandatory mediation step. States that have had mandatory mediation steps knock down their caseloads by up to 90%. Cheaper, faster, better for the kids. That's an example of reform, and you can frame that issue. Be the one to keep your Another point is what works. Be the one to keep the peace in your group. Keep the peace. Any problems, keep the peace. Talk to the people privately. Be the super parent. Parent the other parents to parent the group. But keep the peace. And develop leaders. Develop leaders within the group, leaders of different areas. Organize your group. One person could be responsible for media. Another person could be responsible for community organizing, fundraising. Develop leaders within the group. Find people with strengths and make them leaders. Make them leaders. Empower them. Don't exclude people if you don't have to. Invite people in. As an old expression, it's better to have those angry people inside your tent peeing out than outside your tent peeing in. So, sometimes you can get some really active people, get them in, pull them in. Don't be afraid of them. Use their energy, pull them in, if you can. Exclude very few if you can avoid it, pull them in. Next thing is line up funding. There's a lot of funding out there. There's a lot of funding out there. Other victims have money, will fund your cause. There's family values groups. There's money out there. You can get funding. You can co-fund. You can partner up with private companies and co-fund. There's uh, some other talks going on about that. Uh, 
but funding, very important. The other thing is find a mentor if you can, especially for those people who are going to help become candidates. Find other people that have been in politics and now out that will be mentors. Show them where the landmines are. Show them where the booby traps are. Introduce them to the good press contacts. Mentoring is very important. Part of your network. Somebody retires from politics, go get them. Bring them in. We have a new horizon coming up on some uh, one opportunity, which is the phenomena of national and international help for local elections. Martha Coakley race, Scott Brown, that was an example. People were called from all over the country, all over the planet to do phone banking to help those elections. If you get to first base with your candidates and other things in line, you'll have a new opportunity to pull people from all over the country to help a good local candidate maybe in your neck of the woods. So in closing, it's only the candidate that becomes the foil, the point person for your issues. You need to have candidates. That's the key to local organizing. You need to have candidates. Get the bad candidates out, identify them, get a good candidate in, organize the victims, and don't stop. Don't give up. I'm Greg Fisher, I'm running for New York State Senate, and uh, I was here in 2007 wearing the same t-shirt. <laughs> Um, I hope that we can get these issues forwarded soon. Things are moving. Uh, not quick enough for a lot of our taste. I hope I don't have to wear this t-shirt out. But uh, don't stop. Keep organizing, keep networking, and we can pull this off. Thank you very much.